And our plan now, our next step, is to decide how many trials that we're going to have. So what number of, what's our sample size? Now if you go back to when we first talked at the beginning of the year about data, we talked about how you've got discrete or continuous. So when we're talking about discrete data, that's what simulation data is. We're generating random numbers between 1 and 10 or between 1 and 100 or 1 and 1,000. So we are getting whole integer numbers. Therefore, we need to have an, at least 50 trials um, to run a simulation to have a reasonable amount of level of accuracy. So for example, if I'm simulating the eye colour of children, then we want to have, we want to generate 50 random numbers and we want to match those random numbers to the eye colour of 50 children. So what I'm trying to do there is I'm trying to match that up, make sure that that's clear what it is that I'm simulating and what that connects to. So I want to generate 50 random numbers and that matches those, then I match those random numbers to the eye colour of 50 children. So each simulation is simulating a child's eye colour. So in terms of the equation, well we've had a look at this already um, and we've talked, we looked at this using this RAND between formula in Google Sheets. And this also works in Excel if you've got Excel. Okay. Um, so here's our example. If I want to generate random numbers between 1 and 10, and the formula I'm going to use is equals ran between 1 comma 10. So depending on whether it's a one digit or two digit, um, that's what you want to do. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to generate 10 random numbers in this exercise, but you need but I've given you different limits there. okay So I just want you to become well acquainted with the formula. So I'm going to leave you to try that exercise.